Hi there, folks. My name's Novawing24, and welcome to... It's a little... It's not really a review, but it's something that I was just stupidly excited about, and I really, really wanted to share with you guys. I'm possibly going to show off how nerdy and geeky I am at the moment, but I really wanted to share this with you. Right, okay. So, um... What are we looking at? We are looking at uh, Orbix's Orbix Central. So um, let's do a quick recap, shall we? So for for some time, Orbix has sort of had its SharePoint, its its sort of shared thing where it's in do you do with your installers ever since they migrated away from um, the Flight Sim Store. Progressively, we've seen more features and more things added into it. Like, for example, the fact that, yeah, a couple of versions ago, you could actually, instead of having to close the whole Orbit Central, you could actually just simply switch between your different sims, which made managing different sims a lot better. Streamline downloads, blah, 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 a lot better. You can now purchase from within here as well, which is good. Um, anyway, basically, they've moved forward. There comes some leaps and bounds. They've got some, some new updates, and you can sort of browse through the history and stuff like that. You can see what you've got. You can see what you can get. You can see everything there. You can install it, blah, 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 all fine. Uh, they've now got their partners as well, so you can actually sort of see products here. You can actually, you know, again, different partners from non-Orbix the developers, all there. Okay, so... Um, why am I excited? So when I launched uh, Orbix Central uh, today, um, I needed to. I just want to check that about the latest scenery because I'm going to be doing a review very shortly of one of the aircraft, which you funnily enough just saw. But anyway, um, it had to do an update of the actual program, and I'm like, that's cool, no worries. Hasn't done one for a while. Knock itself out. All good. Um, and this is what greeted me once the install had finished. Now, you know, as I said, pretty. Not much has really changed. A couple of things have moved around. We've got, you know, it's, uh, the sim selection is along the top here rather than on the side. So what? Okay, that's fine. But I did notice this bit here. Discover. Um, now, this is what I wanted to share with you guys because this is awesome. I am so excited about this. Okay, so uh, so a couple of people might sort of think, oh, this kind of looks, this sort of grey sort of map looks familiar. Um, so yes, this is courtesy of Mapbox. Uh, so it's a really interesting sort of developer out there of various different free mapping tools. Um, and you may notice it's very similar to the one, the, the, the base of the grey map is very similar to the one that Project Fly uses because it's just using the same set of tool. Uh, tool yeah, the same set of tools from the guys over at Mapbox just down here. Um, however, what this basically does is that this gives you, you can actually see all the products that Orbix sells. Uh, you can see them and you can sort of say, oh, so that's where I can fly to. So it's actually sort of about, it's about discovering stuff so you can actually go, well, where can I, where do I want to fly to today? Where do I want to go to? Do I want to try something different? So one of the things that I often see and read is people sort of saying, oh, I want an idea of where to fly or I've got such and such sort of flight I want to do, but I want to fly somewhere new. This is a great way to actually do that. You can actually sort of say, well, you know, where is there, especially if you wanted to, okay, obviously this only shows Orbix products, but if you do want to book end of flight with some fantastic scenery and some fantastic um, airports, then you can have a look and say, right, well, I can pick a flight. I can go from uh, Edinburgh and I can fly over to Gothenburg and I can give beautiful Orbix experience all the way. So that's cool. That's awesome. Uh, and you've also got here like the actual um, content as well. So you can see what is available you know, in terms of scenery as well and stuff like that. Um, Though I, oh yes, for True Earth Netherlands, that's for Aerofly, isn't it? Um, now, I'll be honest, I didn't actually try it yet, so there you go. So we've got, again, we can see here that we've got the Aerofly FS2, which, by the way, that one is a little bit out of date, it looks like, because I'm pretty sure the Netherlands is there for Aerofly FS2, so, okay. So it's not 100% up to date, which is good to see. Um... But yeah, you can actually sort of figure out what's there, what's available, and if you don't have it, you can actually then go forth and you can actually purchase it. So that's cool. So, uh, what is some of the... So this is it. It's kind of cool, kind of awesome. So for example, here we can sort of see here that we've got... You know, so you can click... So you hold your mouse here so you can go... So this is Great Britain South. Uh, 
True Earth, Great Britain South. Okay, cool. And then you can see that this is Fair Oaks Airport. This is Popham Airfield. Okay, and then when you click on the airfield, it'll sort of say, yeah, it'll give you a point of interest. Uh, and then we can sort of, you know, get London City Airport. There we go. So it's all kind of cool, kind of awesome. Uh, it gives you interest there, and then you can actually sort of click directly there and actually go to, like, the store part of it and actually buy it if you don't already have it. Now, what I really, really wanted to show off, though, um, is I want to show off some of the other things that come with this. Now, I think this is probably a good way to do this. So let me find... Where is it? Uh, now, let's see, now I'm going to... Uh, okay, so... Okay... Okay, uh, yes, there he is. Uh, okay. So you can click it on the map, and there it is, okay? This is what I want to show off, because this is so cool. Okay, so uh, so Reading Municipal Airport. Okay, so what you bought is you bought that. But what this shows is this shows everything that it that, that, aircraft, that this add-on covers. This is so cool. Um, sorry, as I said, beautiful piece of UX like user interface design here is really cool. Okay, so we can just let's just zoom out. Now we know where it is. Um, so we zoom out here so we can see. Yeah, okay. So there's your, your continental United States, and then you can see that this area here is uh, Northern California. Cool. And we can zoom down here, and we can sort of see that. So if we actually just deselect that for a second. So you start out here and we can go, yep, so that's Reading Municipal Airport, so we can zoom in. But as we zoom in, we see these additional sets of information coming through and showing up. So what this shows off is this shows that, okay, so you get Reading Municipal Airport, but nearby you also get the Mercy Hospital helipad and the 085 Belton Field Airport are all included as part of this Municipal Airport, Reading Municipal Airport pack. But not only that, it lists all of these interests, like all these points of interest that are actually modeled in the scenery, as well as showing you what the sort of scenery where coverage includes as well. So this is like in their, their high detail photoreal coverage of the surrounding area. So, oh my, as I said, this is so exciting and so cool. Like, as I said, I, I'm completely nerding and geeking out right now. Like, I, I'm, I've been doing a bit of work with user interface design um, lately for work. So, and seeing this, seeing this executed so beautifully, this is just so awesome. It's so cool. But as I said, like it goes through, it lists all these different things, so you can actually sort of see all the bridges that are actually done through. So you know, certain buildings that are there. Obviously, not everyone has got a picture, but it gives you an idea if you wanted to go explore this area, um, what this area can cater for. So this is just such a powerful, simple but powerful addition to this as well and they're like oh there's a hobby yes there's another airship there that's cool see, see, i'm learning so much just looking at this so this is so cool as i said i really wanted to show this off to you guys because this is and this is a free update by the way guys so just, just this one uh as I said, the um the, this Orbix uh, central updates. It's all part of the core installer that I've got. Uh, this isn't the fast branch either. This is a public, this is open release to everybody. Um, right, so I just want to say, now this doesn't, it doesn't happen for every airport. So probably a good way to show that is, let's head over to, where are we over here? Actually, we head over here to Orcas Island. This is a Friday Harbour. So we've got the Friday Harbour airport here. So there's no this one doesn't show a case any points of interest, but it does show all the additional airstrips that are actually included as part of Friday Harbour. So um, you won't get that sort of level of detail there that we saw with Reading Municipal um, in, in everywhere, but you will get all the airports and all the additional secondary airports uh, and helipads, most importantly, um, that are actually covered off as well. And oh, here we go. So this one has got all the details. So this has got a large coverage area. Look at that. Look at this, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. Um, and probably the other good one to show off here as well is this one over here. So this is the recent, this is the Cityscape Honolulu. Uh, now what's interesting about this one is that they actually shows, she gives you two different sets of train coverage. So the Cityscape Honolulu, so it covers the whole of the island of Oahu. Um, but what it also does, it gives you the actual Honolulu Waikiki Pearl Harbor area gives you higher detailed photoreal imagery and that's shown in a slightly different color uh, and the same with Kanahia Bay as well um, which by the way is very important for a lot of like um, marine biological research uh, in there and also sort of the Marine Corps air station there as well so yeah there you go um, 
but yeah, I really just wanted to show this off to you guys because I think this is incredibly cool. It's such a simple, elegant piece of UX design that's gone into here, and I think this is such a simple, powerful tool, but also a really great way to allow you to actually be able to find somewhere else to explore because, you know, we've got a the whole planet to explore in all in our sims. Uh, I was about to say all of our sims because airflight, not really, but you know, but in most of our sims, we have the entire planet we can explore. So this is a great way to sort of see and start exploring and thinking about places to go that are not your normal area to go. Um, obviously, there is the slant of the fact that you know they are selling you products for it. That's cool. But yeah, you know, a lot of us, you know, we end up buying content and then not really visiting it or forgetting that we've got it. So this is a great way to actually do that. Um, yeah, as I said. I think it's awesome. Uh, the only thing, probably, thing to note is that although the map can keep going, okay, the points of interest don't. So it's only sort of on one sort of slide of the planet. If you go left or right, you don't. You lose that. So that's a little frustrating. Uh, but that's the only sort of downside of this piece of UI design. But otherwise, it's so simple, elegant, and it just works. Uh, you guys have a filter to go through here as well, where you can see actually whether or not you've whether you own it, whether you've got it installed, um, gives you an idea of what's there, what's available. And as I said, this is so simple, so elegant, but just so powerful. So yeah, wanted to show that off to you guys. Okay, all right. Um, that's it. As I said, I think this is an awesome tool. Go, if you haven't already, go update your Orbix Central, check it out for yourself. I think it's awesome. Orbix, I just want to give you guys a huge shout out because this has to be an awesome, this is just a plainly awesome tool. Like, it's just a fantastic tool, it really is. Um, I remember there used to be a sort of a community run one um, that sort of didn't really, sort of took off and didn't, and didn't really get updated, and it was, and it wasn't. Uh, but this is a great, seamless, beautiful way to integrate it into your system. So uh, props for you for your marketing as well, but also props for just the simple simplicity of design and helping encourage people to go fly and try other places. So there you go, okay. Uh, all right, that's it. I'm done. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in. As I said, this is this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I was just really excited because it just, I just think it's cool. I think it's awesome. So yeah, uh, go Orbix. Awesome. Uh, there you go. And so this installer is free, and then all the content is obviously well. Some of it's payware, some of it's freeware. Go check it out. All right. Thanks very much. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for joining me for this exciting little video. Um, take care. Safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.